And the really crazy thing about the planarian research is that if you cut the planarian worm in the middle and you take the, the head side and you look at the wound and you change the bioelectricity at the wound, then it will regenerate another head. And that that blew my mind when I first saw that. That was crazy. Yeah, that's a great point. I, I know at one point he put a biodome with progesterone on an amputated frog limb, and then it, he just let it on for 24 hours and then it regenerated that limb as well. And I think he was working on some mice research. How far have we come with like regenerating limbs? So these particular frogs, they don't under normal circumstances regenerate, but there's tricks you can do to make them regenerate. For example, they can get frogs to grow eye on the back of their bodies and it will just automatically hook up to the spinal cord and they can use it to see. And that's really incredible and encouraging, but it's in these systems like frogs. So right now, one of the questions could be, could you get an AI to design an organism that makes it easier for scientists to figure out how regeneration works? And there's salamanders and there's other systems that do this. Why can't humans?